What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. I need you guys to go and check out the video I dropped yesterday regarding the Air Jordan 1s from January to July for 2021. I talked about the one that I do like and the one that I don't like. So make sure y'all go check out that video. And let me know out of those 10 retros I talked about yesterday, which one is your top three favorite? Now, Army, I've been hearing everybody hitting me up asking, Break, are you going to drop this hoodie again? Army, I'm thinking about dropping this hoodie again at the end of the year, okay? I got some new merch coming for February, March. And after that, I will not be doing hoodies until the end of the year, Army. So these joints will be making a return later on. It'll be the retro of this hoodie right here, Army. So if you still need more of the merch, again, Jubilee hoodies. I literally only have seven Jubilee hoodies, one large, and the rest are medium. The brand hoodies and the royal hoodies, I still have sizes available. I don't think I have any more 3Xs in either one of those or 4Xs. But like small, medium, large, and a few XLs and a couple 2Xs left, Army. So get at me ASAP. Shorts are running low as well, Army. Again, I love you guys and I appreciate all of your support. Also got the Air Jordan 13 Starfish video up and the Air Jordan 4 Starfish video. Both of those are live on the channel, Army. So make sure you guys check those out if you are interested in copping those this month. So Army, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about something that I picked up off eBay and I bought these on 19th. Now I did buy a pair of the Air Jordan 3 Court Purples off eBay and when I bought those it didn't come how this joint is right here. So with that being said, after that video, a lot of the members of the army was hitting me up break. You know, if you do order off eBay and they do legit check it, it's supposed to look like X, Y, and Z. Now, I also seen that Seth Fowler did a video that was kind of similar to what I wanted to do with this one. Again, shout out to Steph. Steph is a great YouTuber. If y'all don't know who Steph Fowler is, I highly suggest that y'all go check him out. Army, I bought shoes off GoDap, StockX, and this is one of the first eBay authenticated shoes that I have purchased. And I just want to see out of all three, who has the best service, okay? Which place will I be going towards more this year? Now, y'all know, as of right now, StockX is definitely at the bottom of the barrel. I'm trying to see which third-party shoe company slash app has the best service. So when we get shoes from StockX, Go, and now eBay, they all have some kind of like packaging or some kind of way to show that you got your shoes from them. And as you see, eBay has this eBay tape that I'm taking off right now. And again, Army, I purchased these on December 19th, and it took them, I got these yesterday, so it took them roughly about two weeks, you know, to get the shoes. Now, what I did learn is that when you get a shoe off of eBay, the seller ships the shoe directly to New York. That's where my shoes ended up being in New York. And that's where I want to say SneakerCon legit checks the shoe. We do know that SneakerCon did partner up with eBay as far as legit checking shoes. And I know SneakerCon is located in New York as far as the headquarters, so it all makes sense. So, Army, this is the shoe that I wind up picking up. Now, I told you guys, make sure you guys have on your alerts, your J23 app, Soul Links, etc. Because, Army, on the 19th, they threw up the Air Jordan 11 Jubilees and the charged $260 after tax I wind up paying 276 bucks for these so honestly I paid a little bit over retail about 30 bucks over retail plus tax over here in Chicago but at the time these joints were still going over $300 so at that time it still was a very good deal so you see your box it says meet your soulmate and at the bottom of the box it says eBay authenticity guaranteed so that's definitely great to hear Go ahead and take the shoes out the box. And from what I'm seeing, this is an EU pair, meaning that this shoe came from Europe because I do not see a US dollar price tag. This isn't a red flag for me because the same seller that I got these from was the same one with the court purples and the same one last year who was throwing up the UNC 3s for retail, Brand 11s for retail. So they probably got a partnership with eBay as well. Go ahead and open up the box. Just want to check everything out. It does come with this right here, this card, and it says authentic without a doubt. So for the most part, you have nothing to worry about, you know, when you get this card right here. And it also has a hang tag right here that you can check. 
And I can definitely tell that they did at least look inside of the shoe because look at the laces. Normally with your Retro 11s, your Retro 11s do not come like this. So they, you know, probably did one of these joints, checked it out, looked in the inside because I can tell how the laces are. So they checked the left shoe and it looks like they checked the right shoe as well, Army. So again, you will get a hang tag on your shoe and you will get this card that's in the box as well. Here's my personal thought process. I feel comfortable simply because if I feel like these were not authentic, I personally can call the owners of SneakerCon and be like, man, look, I got these in and, you know, they don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? I have the owners of SneakerCon number and I can call them and, you know what I'm saying, talk to them about it or say, hey, I don't think these right, X, Y, and Z. That's just from a personal standpoint. Now, as far as just a regular consumer, at least on eBay, you can message the seller. Okay, now one thing that I did notice is that if you try to message the seller once the shoes are already shipped out, at least for me, they didn't let me message or send it because they said the shoes are en route to be authenticated. So now hopefully I should be able to contact or message the seller. And if I want to be like, hey man, thank you for sending me out some legit shoes or thank you for the fast shipping, I should be able to right now. Now when it comes to go and stock X, you can't message the seller. You dang near can't even message the people at Go. What I like about eBay the best is, again, you can actually contact the seller. You can actually negotiate the prices before shoes are even shipped out. And a lot of people don't even know that eBay was the number one at first. Before StockX, before Go came around, a lot of people grabbed their shoes off eBay. If you were the first person on the market to get a shoe, kind of how it is now, you were setting the market on eBay. I feel like a lot of the OG heads probably still buy and sell off eBay because you can find some good steals on eBay. Again, you can negotiate the price. Yes, you can put a bid in on StockX, but you can message the person be like, hey man, would you take this? Would you do that? You know, what's the lowest you can take? You're not going to be able to do that on StockX and GOAT. So I like the communication between buyer and seller. One thing on eBay is the seller is just shipping out the shoes to get authenticated. You can still have that conversation with them before you purchase the sneakers. Hey, is it any flaws on the shoes? Like for the Retro 4, hey, is this pair creased up? You know what I'm saying? Can I see pictures of them before I actually buy them? That's another good thing, because if you're just buying a DSU on StockX and Go, you can't even see the DSU before you buy it. You don't know if it's factory flaws, you don't know if it's crease, you don't know if it's glue stains. You open up the box and you're surprised. Again, at least on eBay, you can see the pictures and everything, and you can buy used shoes. Now, one thing, I mean, you can buy used shoes on Goat as well, but one thing that I also noticed, some shoes are not authenticated, and some shoes are authenticated. The shoes that are being authenticated has a little eBay guaranteed at the bottom. The ones that are not authenticated doesn't, doesn't have anything. And when I bought the Core Purples, it didn't have anything at the bottom. So that's one thing that I did, people. So again, Army, I'm, I'm with it. If I was to have to pick one place to shop from, it would definitely be eBay, then Go, then StockX eBay again, I've told you all the pros as far as shopping on eBay. Now, Go App, I like Go App a lot. I feel like I will get an uh, authentic shoe at Go as well. It just Go has higher prices. For the most part, I feel like Go shoes are always at least 10 to 15% more than StockX and eBay. I feel like eBay is going to have the cheapest prices and you can still put in like your offers. You know what I'm saying? If somebody have a shoe for 220, you can offer them 200 and see if they'll take it. And if they take it and it's authenticated, boom, it gets shipped out. You know, so I enjoy it. Yes, it does slow down the process. I remember buying shoes on eBay. You know, I could have a shoe within two to three days. You know, turnaround now is like a one to two week turnaround. You know what I'm saying? Especially during the holiday time, it was extremely slow. Extremely slow, everybody shipping out, USPS is slow, you know, everything was just bad. So now that the holiday rush is over, then I can check later on down the line to see, okay, is the turnaround time a little bit quicker now that holiday time is over? Because if the person is shipping to New York, it may be two to three days, they authenticate the shoe, and then they ship out. So honestly, it's, this should be like a five-day process. You know what I'm saying? But again, because the holiday time, it was like a week to two week process. So, Army, let me know how y'all feel about everything I've talked about in the comment section below. Again, I'm rocking eBay, 
GOAT, then StockX. In that order right there, again, I feel like I can find more deals on eBay. I can negotiate more on eBay. I can see the actual shoe before I buy it on eBay. You got the negotiation tool on eBay. You can contact the person on eBay. And again, for the OG people who've been doing this before StockX and GOAT, y'all already know how it is. And I feel like it's just perfect because, yes, eBay has a lot of fakes. Some fakes maybe has slipped through on eBay, but now that SneakerCon and eBay has stepped in, I feel like they're going to make shopping on eBay a lot less stressful, and you can be more dependent on actually grabbing your shoe army. So let me know how y'all feel about everything I've talked about in the comment section below. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable army. Stand strong like always. Hug your loved ones. And we out.